Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going for the delay. I would like to give to you God's woman servant, our first lady, Pastor Michelle Sabro. Praise the Lord, you may be seated in the house of the Lord this morning. We thank God for each and every one that is in the house this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. It is here that he has commanded his blessing. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We thank God for your obedience to the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. It's not an easy thing, my God, to humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. But it becomes, my God, easier. Praise the name of the Lord as your relationship with him, my God, it grows stronger and stronger. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Nothing is able, my God, to separate us this morning from the love of God oh, this morning. Oh, my God, the Apostle Paul said, what is able to separate us from his love oh, this morning? There is no trial, there is no situation oh, that is able, my God, to separate us from oh, his love this morning. Praise oh, the name of the Lord. He has promised us this morning to never leave us, never forsake us in the midst of everything, the issues of life, my God, that may happen, things that you might maybe accounted for, things that you did not account for. Praise the name of the Lord. He's in the midst of everything this morning, my God, because all things work together for good this morning to them that love him. Praise the name of the Lord. He's working on your behalf. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Take confidence in this this morning. This is our glorious hope. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, Heavenly Father, Holy Ghost, you take control this morning. Move by your Spirit, O oh God. Holy Ghost, bring clarity, bring revelation, understanding, and insight. Bring deliverance through the power of your words this morning. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And everybody shout, Amen. Amen. We want to welcome again all those who have logged in via social media. My God, you are in-house for church this morning. We are the new creation ministry. And it's our honor and privilege to be able to break the bread of life with you this morning. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So presently, church, we are in a season this morning where the workers of iniquity, they are busy working the works of darkness upon the earth. Amen. More than any other season. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is due, my God, because of the season that we are presently in. Praise the name of the Lord. Around this time, from the 21st of October, straight until the 2nd of November, there are many that would be observing. And they would be partaking of including Christians. Praise yeah. the name of the Lord. They would be partaking of my God Halloween and my God All Souls Day and the Day of the Dead this morning. Praise the name of Jesus. Not understanding what they are doing and getting themselves into this morning. Some people view Halloween this morning as harmless fun. Praise the name of Jesus. For they want to dress up in costumes depicting the dead. My God and everything my God that goes with it this morning. Yeah. Failing to realize that the practices associated with it are in direct conflict with Bible teachings this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, if you did not know before, my God, you need to know now. Praise the name of Jesus. That there are two kingdoms this morning. There is the kingdom of light and there is the kingdom of darkness this morning. And both, my God, are engaged, my God, in spiritual warfare this morning. My God, that warfare, my God, sometimes manifests itself, my God, into the natural realm this morning. There are children of God and there are children of the devil this morning. There are workers of God and there are workers of the devil this morning. There are those, my God, that will preach, my God, the gospel, the good news of God's coming kingdom. And there are those my God, that are working, my God, the workers of iniquity, they are putting their hands, my God, in 
and things, uh, my God, that is not good. Things of darkness this morning. Uh, my God, doing the bit of their God this morning. Uh, and I'm not talking about, my God, a God with a capital G. Uh, I'm talking about a God with a common G this morning. Uh, because, my God, the God that we serve this morning, uh, He is the self-existent one. Uh, he is Jehovah Adonai. Uh, my God, He is Jehovah, my God, Missy this morning. Uh, he covers us this morning. Uh, he is our shepherd this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, and He is self-existent this morning. Uh, my God, beside Him, uh, there is none this morning. Uh, it simply means that there is none to compare with Him this morning. Uh, there is none that is in His class this morning. Uh, he is mighty. He is strong. Uh, he is powerful this morning. Uh, he don't need help uh, to be God this morning uh, because He is God by Himself this morning. Uh, he is the same God yesterday, uh, today, and will continue to be forevermore. Angels has gone. Uh, angels have passed. Uh, we are in the age, my God, of grace this morning. Uh, but understand this. Uh, my God has not changed uh, because there is no shadow in turning in Him this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, come on, give Him some praise. Hallelujah. So my God, right now, the kingdom of darkness, uh, this is their period of time. Uh, my God, this is their timing of their God this morning. Uh, understand, my God, uh, that the devil have a replica, my God, for everything that our God would do. Uh, my God, and in this season, my God, uh, the spiritual world, uh, my God, it is more active than before. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh, my God, the spiritual world, uh, my God, there is a lot of undertaking uh, that is taking in place. Uh, my God, if you would understand and you would know, uh, my God, and you would realize and uh, notice this morning, uh, around this time, uh, a lot of people that get sick, uh, around this time, uh, there is a lot of spiritual warfare. My God, whether it be for your mind, uh, your mental sanity, uh, or whether it be for your physical body, uh, my God, where your health is concerned, uh, there is a lot of spiritual activity that is taking place. My God, if you have come out from a Hindu background, my God, you will realize around this time, my God, the spiritual warfare, it has heightened because, my God, there is a battle that is happening. My God, and it's a battle for the souls of men. Praise the name of Jesus. And these people, they are not making joke. My God, their God demands certain things from them. Uh, my God and they intend to give it to him. Uh, praise the name of Jesus. Uh, and the Christian world, uh, the Christian community, uh, their eyes ought to be open. Uh, my God, as to the spiritual warfare that is before them uh, and that they are engaged in. Uh, Jesus said, my God, uh, every day we are counted as lamb to the slaughter. My God, every day the devil assigned demons. Uh, my God, to you and your family uh, to take you out. Uh, but what is keeping you today? Uh, it is the prayers, my God, of the saints. Uh, it's the prayers of your, your husband and your wife uh, and your mother and your sister and your brother. Praise the name of the Lord, my God. Uh, this morning we got to understand, uh, my God, the reality of the spiritual realm. Amen. So this is the, the height of their season, my God. Just as the Lord have his feast, my God. We just came out of the last feast of the Lord, my God, for this year. My God, they have their feast as well. And their feast, it is Halloween and all souls. And my God, the day of the dead. The origin of Halloween this morning. The origin of Halloween can be traced to this ancient pagan festival celebrated by the Celtic people over 2,000 years ago. The Celts believed that the dead could walk among the living at this time. 
My God, you will realize that one occult, my God, community just came out of feeding the dead. My God, and there is another set, my God, another group that will be doing the same in these coming days. Praise the name of the Lord. During Sanhagen, the living could visit the dead. Celts wore ghoulish costumes so that wandering spirits would mistake them for one of their own and leave them alone. My God, you can understand the reason why they dressed in these horrible costumes is that the spiritual realm would make manifest in the natural realm and they would disguise themselves, hoping, my God, that these demonic entities, my God, would take hold of them. My God, they would take them for one of their own. And that was the reason behind dressing as ghosts and goblins and everything that was nasty. Amen. My God, they, they would offer sweets to the spirits to appease them. This is where you get trick or treat from. Because my God, when these demonic entities would appear at their doorstep, my God, they would ask the question, my God, do you have an offering, trick or treat this morning? Praise the name of Jesus. And if you didn't have that offering to present to them, then they would present the curse upon your house. So hence the reason as time went along, my God, it evolved to trick or treating. My God, when you realize a trick or treater would come at your doorstep, my God, at Halloween, my God, they would ask the question, trick or treat, praise the name of the Lord. These are not things that you play with. You gotta understand history, understand what you believe in, my God, and stand firm, my God, in the principles of God this morning. Amen. So my God, ghosts and vampires and werewolves and witches and zombies, these have long been associated with the evil spirit world because there is nothing that is good about them. They portray my God death. Praise the name of the Lord. They don't portray life. They would like to, my God, reflect eternal living. But that is not eternal living this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. If you desire, my God, life and to live it abundantly, you need to get into Jesus Christ this morning. You need to connect to the true vine this morning. Because, my God, I guarantee you, if you die out of Christ, this morning, my God, you may end up in zombie land. Not may, you shall end up in zombie land. A place, my God, my God, where the worms do not die. Praise the name of the Lord. A place, my God, of torment this morning. My God, Jesus' desire is that all would come unto repentance this morning. He said, I did not, my God, hell was not made for man, my God. It was made for the devil and his angels. It was made for the devil and his rebellious bunch. It was not made for humankind. Jesus is saying, my father, he has offered mankind a choice. My God, the choice to choose redemption or the choice to choose death this morning. He's not going to force life upon us this morning. It must be your choice this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. So this morning we want to see God's views. My God, the beliefs associated with Halloween and All Souls Day and the Day of the Dead. My God, let us look in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 18 and verses 10 to 12. You can read verses 9 to 14 when you go home, but we're going to look at verse chapter 18 of Deuteronomy verses 10 to 12. And here goes the reading of God's word. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire to, or to be burned and, as an offering to an idol this morning or that useth divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch Verses 11 or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirits or a wizard, or a negromancer, verses 12. For all that do these things are an abomination. And in other words, they are detestable thing. They are a detestable thing, or a hateful 
shouting unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doeth drive them out from before him. Amen. So those that would practice my God human sacrifice, my God, those that would practice using divination and observing times and enchantments and witchcraft, my God, and using charms and others and consulting familiar spirits and practicing necromancy, the Lord detests, my God, those that would do such things. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and verses 21, my God, and thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech, Neither shalt thou profane the name of thy God. I am the Lord. And the, the, the word Lord there is in capital letters. My God. It speaks to the self-existent God this morning. Amen. We don't need help to be God. My God, there is no other God that can compare with his greatness this morning. Because he's God of God and Lord of Lords this morning. Amen. So my God, in that time, the Canaanites freely engaged in human sacrifice to the God Molech. My God, and you will understand that, my God, these gods, these demonic entities, my God, they take on different names in different nations. It is the same spirit, but my God, they go by different names. My God, you would see the Egyptians, my God, that same God that is Molech is known as another God. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, and so on and so on. Through the ages, the name changes, but it is the same manifestation of the same spirit. Amen. Even in the account, in the book of Deuteronomy, they were doing it for the particular purpose of determining or discerning the course of events. So my God, these children, the Canaanites, my God, they were sacrificing their children. They were sacrificing their family members. My God, in exchange of knowing futuristic events. They were sacrificing them, my God, in exchange for wealth and prosperity in this natural realm. They were sacrificing, my God, their children and their family, my God, in exchange of winning battles. And in that time, my God, it was physical combat, my God, in the time that we are living in, my God, is spiritual warfare. Yes, you may have spirit, my God, natural battle, my God, in the natural realm, my God, but there are spiritual, my God, battles, my God, that we gotta understand. It has some people, my God, that will get into conflict with you, my God, they may not wrestle with you, my God, physically, but they can hurt you spiritually, and this is what was happening, my God, even then it has never stopped my God it has intensified if anything else my God if they can't touch you they will reach your children my God spiritual contact my God because of the God that they are serving because they want to be on top are you hearing what I'm saying the king of Moab he took his eldest son who was to reign in his stead and in the midst of losing a battle, my God, the king, my God, sacrificed his son who was supposed to reign in his stead. My God, publicly, in front of his enemy and in front of his army, my God, with the intention of winning. My God, you've got to understand that these demonic strongholds, my God, they are deceivers. My God, the deal in darkness this morning, there is nothing that is good from them. My God, the Bible says that the devil coming to, to thief, to steal and to destroy this morning. His intention, my God, is to rob you, my God, of your soul. His intention, my God, is to rob you of abundant life this morning. He is presenting you with the temporal riches of this life, my God, that will fade away, that will Praise the name of the Lord. But I understand the God that we serve, the self existent one. He is presenting humankind with abundant life. My God, abundant life now and in the life to come. He is my God presenting us with riches now and in the life to come. My God, the devil, what the devil is presenting mankind. My God is something, a facade. Something, my God, that is a destruction, my God, that will appear for a moment and it will be gone the next 
Son Jesus Christ. My God has a living sacrifice for us. My God, and He died so that we can become rich this morning. My God, He died. Praise the name of the Lord, and He rose again. My God, spoiling principalities and powers and making an open show of them. He died poor so that we can become rich. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, the only thing that He's asking of us is that we as a living sacrifice this morning, which is our reasonable service. He's not my God requiring of us that we give a dead one. No, he wants you living this morning because my God, what can he do with a dead carcass this morning? He cannot do nothing with a dead carcass. But my God, as long as there is life in your body, the Bible says in him we live, we and we have our being this morning. My God is no longer us, but the Christ that lives in us this morning. It is no longer Michelle, but my God, the Lord that is being reflected. My God, the Bible teaches us this morning. My God, that men will see our good works. My God, and glorify Him, which is in heaven this morning. So my God, It's a facade. My God, it's a delusion this morning. Because my God, the temporal riches of this world cannot bring about, my God, that satisfaction that your spirit and your soul so desire this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. So my God, these people, they were caught up, my God, in human sacrifice in exchange, my God, for a temporal fix. Amen. My God, we don't need, my God, human sacrifice. We don't have to do human sacrifice this morning in order to prosper. My God, in order to win our battles this morning, praise the name of the Lord. In order to know futuristic events, my God. You want to know futuristic events, my God, look to the word of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Everything concerning you is in this book. Praise the name of the Lord. Your desire to be rich this morning. My God, your desire to prosper. Not only in your health. Not only in wealth this morning. Look to the word of God this morning. Your desire, my God, to see what is to come in the future. Look in the blueprint of God. He has already spoken. My God, the end from the beginning. My God, he says... This is what to expect. Praise the name of the Lord. He says, my God, when you give up the ghost, when you give up the spirit, this is what you need to expect. He says, my God, if you serve me this morning, this is what to expect. He says, if you don't serve me this morning, this is what to expect. My God, if you want to see into the future, look into the perfect law of liberty this morning. It has never failed us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So my God, what is divination this morning? It is the practice of seeking knowledge of the future or the unknown this morning by the supernatural means. Today we call them witches and wizards and warlocks and psychic medium and my God in our local town we call them the opia man or the opia woman. Praise the name of the Lord. They carry all sorts of fancy names this morning. My God, you will realize my God, even my God in very entertainment. My God, there is one on the e-channel. My God, he is a spirit, a psychic medium where he channels my God, the, the, the souls of the dead. This is what he can Claims. Praise the name of Jesus. My God, and he goes to the loved ones and he tells them, my God, what they are doing and how they are feeling and, and so on and so on. Praise the name of the Lord. They are dealing with the spirit of divination this morning. Amen. My God, Saul asked the witch of Endor to divine unto him. Look with me quickly in First Samuel, Samuel chapter 28 and verses 8. My God, and Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment. And he went and two men with him. And they came to the woman by night. And he said, I pray thee, divide.
divine unto me by the familiar spirit and bring me him up whom I shall have and whom I shall name unto thee. So my God, what was taking place here? My God, the prophet Samuel had died. My God, and we understand that true Saul's disobedience, the kingdom was rent from him and given to his neighbor, which is David. Praise the name of the Lord. But what was taking place here? My God, he was about to go into battle. And the Bible states, my God, that Saul was seeking the Lord, my God, for directions, but the Lord did not answer him. My God, the Bible says that he used the Urim and the Tumim, which was, my God, God's direction if you are seeking counsel, my God, to use. He says, if you don't get answer through that, he said, I'm going to speak to you through my prophets, my God. And if you don't get answer through that, I'm going to speak to you through dreams and visions. And my God, it was not working out for the king. My God, desperation kicked in because the Bible said that when he saw, my God, the host of the Philistines, my God, that fear filled his heart, my God, in so much that the man went looking for a witch, my God, to bring up the soul of the prophet Samuel. But the Bible says that when he went to the witch this morning, my God, he, he had to disguise himself because he had condemned the very works, my God, of the witches and the warlocks in the land. But my God, desperation kicked in, my God, and he needed to get direction. So the witch, my God, she went and she called up, my God, supposedly the spirit of Samuel, the prophet Samuel. But the Bible was sure to declare that when she testified, she said, I see gods ascending from below the earth. But my God, you got to understand this morning that the dead have no contact with the living this morning. What had happened there? It was a familiar spirit, a demonic stronghold. My God, that knew the prophet Samuel, that knew his ways and his characteristic and his nature. My God, that spirit came up. My God, and prophesied to Saul at that particular point in time. My God, and when he stood up and he heard, it wasn't something that he did not hear before because the prophet Samuel already prophesied that to the king. My God, a familiar spirit is one that knows the individual, that knows everything about the individual. In so much they can speak like the individual, they move like the individual. My God, the very nature of the individual they take on. My God, and the, 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 the king Saul, he said that this was the prophet Samuel. He looked like him, he talked what he, he was saying, my God, it is him, my God, but it wasn't this one, embrace the name of the Lord. My God, we got to understand, my God, that this spirit of divination this morning, this is how it works, praise the name of the Lord. These psychic mediums, my God, and all those that are connected to Halloween, this is their time, this is their moment, praise the name of the Lord. My God, where the veils, my God, is lifted, my God, in the spiritual realm, because they are giving them access, my God, in the natural realm, my God, to wreak havoc, my God, upon the natural realm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So my God, we got to understand, our eyes have to be open this morning. My God, as to what is happening, it is not harmless fun that is taking place. My God, it's not cute, my God, to be a partaker of this feast this morning. Amen. So my God, we see, my God, that the, the dead have no contact with the living. We see this account when Jesus spoke about the rich man and Lazarus. My God, the rich man, when he died and Lazarus died, he desired that Father Abraham would send back Lazarus to his house to warn his brothers from coming to that place. She all, amen. But my God, they cannot do so because they have no contact, my God, with the living this morning. Amen. So my God, the Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verses 5. For the living know that they shall die, 
but the dead know not anything. Neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. So my God, know that the spirit and the soul, my God, it goes on fully conscious after death, for they are immortal. Understand this, my God, what happens is that the body, my God, it dies. But the spirit and the soul, my God, it moves on in full conscious state. My God, even realize this, my God, when we look at Lazarus and the rich man, amen. May they, they know who their brothers and sisters are. My God, the rich man could have identified who Lazarus was. Praise the name of the Lord. So you know, but they have no contact with the living. Amen. The Bible says, my God, the body have no reward until the resurrection. So my God, the dead body of that individual, my God, there is no life there. There is no life in it. The spirit and the soul has left that body. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, and it is waiting. It's a waiting resurrection. Amen. The Bible says that some will be risen to life and some will be risen to eternal death. Amen. So quit thinking, my God, the loved ones that you are buried this morning, that they are dear and you can go and speak to them. Are you hearing what I'm saying? My God, all souls day, it is coming up. My God, and for some people, my God, they go to the grave sites. My God, and they spend time there because they are thinking to themselves, my God, that their loved one, they are there. Right? They are not there. My God, the spirit and soul has already departed to its predestined destination. They have already made their choice. There is no coming back from that. My God, if they did not serve Christ, my God, then they shall be eternally separated from him, my God, in hell. But if they have served Christ, my God, then they shall be in the presence of the Lord awaiting the resurrection of their bodies as well. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So my God, quit thinking, my God, that you can go and put a chair and sit down, my God, and go and talk to your loved ones about what happened with the children and what happened with mommy and daddy and tanti and, and what you pass your exam. No, they are not there. My God, what is going to happen? My God, is that you're going to pick up a familiar spirit there because for some people that testify, you know, I went by the grave and the perfume that he does wear, the perfume any box, you know, I smell it. My God, honey, darling, that was a familiar spirit. My God, that was wandering the grave. My God, and they were awaiting, my God, somebody to go home with. They were awaiting somebody to go home with to torment you and to torment your household. Are you hearing what I'm saying? My God, there is nothing that is wrong if you all go and clean your grave. You love one grave side, you want to keep it in a certain condition. But do not make a practice of going, my God, and standing up and communicating, my God, with something that is not there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The dead have no contact with the living. My God, are you hearing what I'm saying? There is a lot of people my God, especially on All Souls Day, end up spiritually sick. Why? Because they were in a cemetery. For some of us, my God, we, we, we bury our loved ones privately. Whether it be in our homes, my God, the yard of our homes by a tree. And we go by that tree and we stand up and we talk. Who are you talking to? You are talking to demons. You are talking to demonic stronghold. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You want somebody to talk to? Talk to Jesus! Are you hearing what I'm saying? This thing it is real. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Job chapter 14 and verses 21. His sons come to honor and he knoweth it not. And they are brought low but he perceiveth it not of them. So my God, they come to honor. My God, they bring flowers and they bring all what he may like or what she may like and they put it by the grave. But he cannot see. He don't, he, he, he don't know because he's not there. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Praise the name of 
of the Lord. So my God, you go on there, you're crying, you're all emotional, and you think somebody listening, you feel in our presence. Let's give one extra words. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So my God, this morning, believers, am I helping somebody this morning? Come and give me some praise. My God, so those who recognize and participate in the festivities of Halloween and All Souls Day and Day of the Dead, it is demonic strongholds that you are engaging with because the dead have no contact with the living. My God, those that are connected to Halloween this morning, my God, the witches and the warlocks and the charms that they would give you and all the other practices, my God, it is devilish. My God, I don't believe in church magic either. There is no place for that, my God, in the kingdom of light. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is not harmless fun. My God, we should boards or Uja boards, my God, and they call it, it is not harmless fun. There are demonic entities that works, my God, with these, my God, devices. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, upon that note, my God, know what your children are into. My God, on the computer, it is coming home to them. It is coming through, my God, the, 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 the television, the shows that they would watch. Do you know that the Bible says, my God, in, in the latter days, my God, in the end of this age, with the Antichrist, that my God, these things will be heightened? Witchcraft will be heightened? My God, so the stage is being set. It is being reinforced. It is being presented as something as something that is desirable. But it is not something that you should want any part of. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on, give him some praise. So my God, we will look at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 20 to 22. And I'm reading from the Amplified Version. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 20 to 22. No, I am suggesting that what the pagans or the heathen, a heathen is an unbeliever, sacrifice, they offer in effect to demons. So whatsoever they are doing on Halloween, for those that came out of devil worship, my God, those that were high in that order, they would tell you on Halloween night the amount of souls that they sacrifice. The amount of children that they kill, my God, that they murder, my God, the amount of unborn babies, my God, that they murder on that night because it's the devil's feast. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So my God, to evil spirit, they offer the sacrifice they offer, my God, to demons, to evil spiritual powers and not to God at all. I do not want you to fellowship and be partners with diabolical or devilish spirit by eating at their feast. My God, why are you allowing your children and yourself? My God, you want to be part of the clique. So my God, you're going to observe Halloween. You're going to Halloween party. You're not Christian, but you're going to Halloween party. That's the devil's feast. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And you ought not be a part of it this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, verses 21. You cannot drink the Lord's cup and the demon's cup. You cannot partake of the Lord's table and the demon's table. Verses 22. Shall we thus provoke the Lord to jealousy and anger and indignation? Are we stronger than he? My God, you cannot sup on two tables. My God is either you're on the Lord's side or you're on the devil's side. My God is either you're standing for righteousness or you are upholding darkness. My God, the Bible was very clear to sit and to eat and to participate. My God, you have now come into partnership with these devils. Praise the name of the Lord. Promoting, my God, their assignment this morning. My God, what they have disguised and make it look like, my God, fun, my God, to you and to humankind, it is not fun. Praise the name of the Lord. It is serious. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, the Bible teaches us this morning that we ought to stay away from this. Amen. So my God, Halloween and all souls, my God, the day of the Lord, my God, the occult practitioners, this is their time. This is their time. Praise the name of the Lord. The Apostle Paul is stating here, when you eat a 
of their feast. My God, which I just told you, and you participate, you are partaking of these demons' table. Amen. You have now come into partnership with them. You cannot partake of the Lord's table. I know uh, many years ago, the Lord prophesied here of a very public figure. My God, that participated. My God, he, he was, my God, a Christian. Praise the name of God. He died a Christian because the Lord ministered and said that his soul is redeemed. But he made a mistake. On the day of their feast, he went, my God, thinking to himself that he could, he could do it. He went and he sat on their table and that was it. He was never the same again. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He got a spirit blow that he was never able to come back from. Do you think, yes, it looks pretty. It looks, the lights look pretty. The snacks are very enticing. The parties look like there's fun and all this other thing. But no, it can cost you your soul this hour. Yes, are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. We ought not to be partakers, my God, of it. Last scripture verse, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 12. My God, in conclusion, be strong in the Lord. Be empowered through your union with Him. Draw your strength from Him this morning. So in other words, this morning, the only way that you will, your eyes of your understanding will be open is when you become, my God, one with the Word of God. You will be able to identify, you will be able to discern, this is not of God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? What they are doing, it is devilish and it is not of God. This is not fun. Praise the name of the Lord. It is either I'm on the Lord's side or I'm on the devil's side. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That strength which is boundless might provide. Verses 11. Put on God's whole armor. The armor of a heavy armed soldier which God supplies. So in other words, my God, we are 